What is machine learning? How many types of machine learning are often used to solve problems? Arthur Samuel in 1959 defines machine learning as a core branch of AI that aims to give computers the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. It enables computers to automate data-driven model building and programming through a systematic discovery of statistically significant patterns in the available data. Using a large dataset at high speeds, machine learning techniques allow us to make more accurate decisions. Machine learning programming is slightly different from conventional programming. Conventional programming requires the developer to explicitly write a code to solve specific rules so that whenever we pass data to the model, the answer comes out. While in machine learning, instead of writing the rules manually, the programmer only needs to pass a lot of data, then let the machine figure out the patterns using the existing algorithms. Machine learning is widely used to solve problems for the industry, such as regression, classification, and clustering. In this video, we would discuss regression machine learning. Regression is a method of modeling a target value based on independent predictors. This method is mostly used for forecasting and finding out cause and effect relationships between variables. Regression techniques mostly differ, based on the number of independent variables and the type of relationship between the independent and dependent variables. Here, we would explain several most common regression algorithms. First one is an algorithm that is based on neighboring algorithms, such as decision tree, k nearest neighbor, and random forest. Decision tree regression observes features of an object and trains a model in the structure of a tree to predict data in the future to produce meaningful continuous output. Random forest is a regression technique that aggregates multiple decision trees and uses averaging to improve the accuracy and avoid overfitting. KNN is a regression technique that uses feature similarity to predict the values of any new data points. Then, support vector regression is a regression technique that implements support vector mechanism. This mechanism gives us flexibility to define a decision boundary and find the best hyperplane to fit the data. Stochastic gradient descent picks up a random instance of training data at each step and then computes the gradient making it much faster as there is much fewer data to manipulate at a single time. Ridge regression is a technique for analyzing multiple regression data. When multicollinearity occurs, Lasso regression is a regression analysis method that performs both variable selection and regularization. Gaussian process regression is a non-parametric Bayesian approach to regression. This algorithm calculates the probability distribution over all admissible functions that fit the data. A neural network can be used as regression algorithms as well such as general regression neural network and feed-forward neural network. A neural network generates the output after the input is passed through neural network architecture. General regression neural network is a single-pass neural network which uses a Gaussian activation function in the hidden layer. While feed-forward neural network is neural network that generates the output from more flexible options in activation function. Description of several of the most common regression algorithms. Actually, there are still plenty of other regression algorithms which you can explore.